Don't take round 50 in the title too literal. This could be round 70, round 100, even round 30. This is merely a milestone in your zombie's career. 50 IC is a pretty good milestone. I still get excited when I get to round 50, and today I have five ways to get to round 50. Now these five ways are five ways that I myself have gotten to round 50, and maybe you can find one of the ways for yourself. Maybe something works out for you, and, and you can get to round 50, or like I said, 70, 100, whatever round you wanna to get to, these are the ways that I've been through it. And each of these ways, I have five. I'm gonna have a little bit of a story behind each one, so prepare for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and, and basically, I. I just want everyone to be great at zombies. I love playing zombies, and you're only having fun when you're getting those high rounds. So, number one on the five ways to get to 50, we have cheat. That's right, cheat. So, I originally, before I'd say I got good at zombies, I cheated. You know, you can get into a, a place where zombies can't hurt you. You can, you can cheat you could have unlimited ammo you know no clip whatever it is cheating is a way to get to round 50 i don't think it's the best way but let me tell you a little story so if you guys can remember the map five from call of duty black ops one there was a place in the spawn room whenever the game came out that you were able to jump up onto a window and then you could jump across to a table or even get on top of there's like a little ceiling section that you could look down and my cousin and i we went on there on like round two or three we had the Olympia and the M14. I think our highest round like ever was like 15 or something like that. So we were super, super happy um, about playing this game, you know, being in this cheat spot. So we sat up there and I think we played until like round 10 or so. And I was like, wait a minute, look, the zombies are dying underneath us if you leave them alone. So we left the controller down and we were like, all right, let's go outside. I know. I know go outside that tells you how long ago this was what is the outside we went outside and we came back and we were on round like 25 26 and we're right in there we're like oh sweet let's just leave this right here let's go back out let's eat dinner let's come back tonight see what round we are so you know all that happened we came back we were on round 54 and we we're like cool let's jump down go get the ray gun and just kill some zombies we jumped down made it to the elevator and died like instantly so yeah that was around 50 but it wasn't very rewarding and it took all day for it to get there next up on the list we have solo race a friend to 50 now i used to do this a lot start at your skill level you know whether you're trying to get to round 20 round 35 40 whatever it could be you know you could be trying to race to 100 just get you and your friends together and say okay let's race and see who gets to this round first and whenever you get to that round, don't stop there, race to the next round, you know, and if you die, just restart and hopefully the other person dies and eventually you're just going to be racing and that competition is going to make you do better. I I've noticed that competition is one great form of motivation to uh, getting better at anything. So Solar Race a Friend, it's really, really good. I recommend it. That's, I mean, like I said, these are how I have been, you know, that's how I've gotten good at zombies is just by doing these things. So... I used to race a friend on Kino Der Toten uh, to 20, and then we moved that up to 40. And then, you know, in Black Ops 2, we moved it up to 100, and we would just race all the time. And so, you know, we'd have like first place is 80, second place is 70, third place is 60, right? So if you died, it told you what place you got in, then you could restart and try to race to number one. But super fun. I, I really do recommend it. Next up, we have Master One Map. This is the map that you're just going to keep playing and keep playing and keep playing until you've mastered it, until you can get around 50, until you can get around 100. Um, Nocturne and Toten, this is a great map just to train on. I love it. I, I just, I keep playing it because I want to get better at it. I can see myself getting 100 on this map, but I do need to keep playing it a lot more. So next up, we ha oh, and let me tell you a little bit about mastering one map. Um, in, in Kino de Toten, again, Black Ops 1, I played that map literally every single day. Like, after school, I'd get home and, and play and, and get to, like, 30. And, like, yes, like, tomorrow I'll get to round 40. And then eventually, I got to round 55. I remember that round because I was, I was freaking out. I was like, yes, that game took me, like, literally three days after school to get. 
and I get to 55, and, and the way I was doing it was running the entire Kino map, the longest strategy I've ever done. And I eventually worked my up, way up to 60, and, and once I was on 60, I was like, I gotta record this, I gotta have this for proof, and this was way before YouTube. So I got my mother's camera and set it up on a tripod and just recorded my screen on 60, made it like two minutes and died because I was so worried about the camera and like, am I framed up, am I getting everything, so... Master One Map, just, it's it's so much fun. Next up we have Get Carried. That's right, you can get carried to round 50. I remember on Black Ops 2, I would carry a lot of people to 50 and then just quit. Um, but, it, you know, it's it's always good to have um, a, a good zombies partner that, like, if you're not so good and you have someone that's better than you, it's always good to work with them because that will rub off on you. You'll watch the way they move then you start moving like them, and then eventually you're you're two of the same. You could become zombie partners. Um, let me tell you a story. Uh, I have a friend. Let's call him Drew. We were playing Ascension, right? And and we played up. I was doing pretty terribly. I think I had like ten downs, and and he had like one or or none probably. And and we were on Ascension, he had the Thunder Gun, he had all the good stuff. All I had was a crossbow and one Gersh device. And he was like, okay, you uh, you clutched this round, right? I was like, what? And next thing I know, like, he's, he's down and out. Like, I could not even revive him. He did something to instantly kill himself. And he left me there with, with no weapons. All I had was the crossbow, like I said, and, and, and a Gersh device. And I clutched. I, I made it through that round. And... Really, after that round, my fear of high rounds kind of went down the drain. I mean, if once you're left, once you've been carried and you're left at a high round, you feel it. You know, you. it's like the, the adrenaline pumps through you. And maybe you just have muscle memory and you remember the actions. And I got really, really good at Ascension ever since that gameplay. Like, after I played round 65 completely by myself, I just, I felt more comfortable in solos. And, and lastly, we have Be Aware. And and this is where I'm at right now. It's, I think a lot of, you know, great zombie players are in this category. It's it's just being aware. It's it's knowledge, basically. It's something that I struggle trying to, to put through the mic. You know, I, I, I try to make videos that help you, you know, being aware, being knowledgeable of zombies. And it's, 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 it's hard. You know, it's two-way street. I, I'm, I'm trying to get better at this, trying to get better... At relaying what I'm talking about and zombies to the screen but you guys got to pick it up too uh, if you see me do stuff practice it if you want to get better play these maps listen to some of the words I'm saying I've got I've got the correct words here but there's like I feel like I'm so close to cracking the code for just helping everyone be better at zombies so you know be aware of knowledge um, the easiest way is is you know, knowing where the zombies are going to be, knowing what they're going to do, what what you can walk faster than they can run, that's like one part of it. Knowing how they train up, each game's a little different. It's just, it's just a whole mess that the only way you can get it is just by playing. So, play, be knowledgeable. Uh, these were five ways to get around 50. Trust me, they're not the only five ways, but... I feel like this this is a good little stepping stone in the right direction if you're wanting to get better at zombies. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a long one, but I felt like it must have been done. Um, you guys seem to be really, really liking the like top fives and zombies, although I don't say top five. Um, let me know what you want down below. Like, what's what's the next video going to be about? Thank you so much for the support. Um, <laughs> Nocturne Toten, love the map. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace.